Hi everyone, it's Finola Howard. Let me move this tiny little bit so you can see more than just my head. Okay, so this is my second attempt <laughs> at doing this live today. Um, okay, so let's stay focused here. Okay, so uh, welcome back to Ask Finola How and this is episode 38. And it's a wonderful question for us this week because it's been asked of me something like, six times in the last two weeks five or six times i've been asked this question in the last two weeks and it's so common because that would not have been the first time i would have been asked this question let me read it to you it's kind of a condensed question amongst these kind of five or six people okay so i just got my brand and my website done and now i'm feeling really nervous i keep stalling and going into overwhelm can you help and such a common question such a great question and it happens. One of the things that I'm always dedicated to doing is mapping the journey before we take it, okay? And knowing, so that you know the journey before you take it. So I've been mapping this for years. So I see these points where these moments of overwhelm happen or certain challenges get faced at the same point in a business every single time without fail. Now I completely, uh, accept and embrace this idea that all of our journeys are unique we all have a different way of living our lives making choices about our businesses and all that kind of stuff however there is always a map because there are some things we always face on this path this is one of those things and i really wanted to share it with you okay and it happens the same time every single time this one particular thing happens many things happen repeatedly but this one to be thinking about yourself today and it is this moment where if you've had your brand and your identity truly done with you, and I mean truly meaning this process, and I, I actually note a difference between brands that are built and brands that are uncovered. When a brand is built, it's not necessarily yours. Sometimes it can be artifice, you know, something that might be created that you live up to. Whereas a brand that is uncovered, and I know this because this is my own style of work, when a brand that is uncovered means it comes from you. It is the truest expression of who you are. It is an unearthing of something that has always been there and shaped to truly express who you are. And this is why someone will get scared. Because you are now naked. You are naked to the world to be your truest possible self. And that is scary. And that's why all of these people go into this slightly overwhelmed piece. And the question that is consistently asked at this point is, yes, this is true for me. And they really love it. And it feels like the truest expression of who they are. It sits right. It feels so right. And it, it makes them warm up to the whole concept of marketing because people are so kind of nervous around marketing. But this feels true and feels right. Now, but the question that's always asked, even though it feels true and that feels right, the question is always asked, oh, can I live up to this? That's what's asked. And what I want to say to you today, and I want to do this over a couple of sessions, what I want to say to you today is, when you feel that, you should celebrate because this is what I call this moment of touching your own brilliance, touching your own greatness. It is that moment when you look at yourself and look at this brand and this external manifestation of what you're here to do in the world and you actually see your own potential clearly for possibly the first time in a long time. We really feel it very clearly when we start businesses but sometimes wear and tear can wear us down. And when you go through this process uncovering and this brand development pro process, this identity process, and you start to see it become real and realized, this is the moment when you touch your own brilliance of many moments, okay? But it's one of the first ones. And it's powerful and exciting and scary. But what I say to you is this, is to celebrate that moment. Because when you celebrate that moment, you know you're on the right path. And that's my big, big message for you, okay? You know you're on the right path. So 
my next thing to say to you is this because it makes me happy even talking about this because it's so such a beautiful moment the next thing i will say to you is yes you will feel scared because you're naked you will feel scared because you are truly you but the thing that i've seen time and time again is this moment only lasts a very very short time because when you fully when you see that happening when you see that this is who you can be and who you are, this is what was already here and is the promise of what has yet to come as well. You will, when you step fully into that, when you step into it, not fully even, when you step into it and accept it, that overwhelm leaves. I've seen that time and time again. We are amazing creatures because we step into our own grace, our own greatness, in a such a short, we work so hard to get there. And then in that moment that we see it, it just becomes so very true to us. And it feels like, but I've always been like this because you actually have always been like this, but now you man manifest it. So I want to leave you with those thoughts of reassurance if you're at that point in your business. And what I want to say to you is that be reassured if you're at that point in your business and what I would like to talk about next week with all of you is how to create a daily practice that keeps you in that moment, in that zone, in that zone of brilliance that keeps you there so that when you move to the next stage of actually bringing everything to fruition, you will be prepared for it. So tune in next week for Ask Finola How. And this has been all about identity, brilliance, achieving that brilliance and making your dream real. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.